Hi, welcome to Inspire Your Tire. We're gonna go on a little road trip today. I'm going to take you where I get a lot of my tires and just show you what I go through and the process I go through to picking out tires that I'm going to upcycle. So let's get started. So we're here and it took a whole five minutes to get here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out and show you what I look for when I'm looking for tires. Okay, so you see there's a big selection here. These are all used tires that have been removed from cars and trucks and um, uh, semis. Uh, you can see tractors, all different sizes. So um, first thing, of course, I got permission to be here. So uh, that's always uh, crucial. They just ask that I come after hours, which I always do. Um, but of course you can just by first glance, you can see a number of tires that you wouldn't want to work with, um, just based on maybe size. Um, and then there are, um, let's just take a look. Um, for example, this one here, if you look really close, see all the cracks here, you don't want to deal with this because the paint won't adhere to that very well. Um, yeah, of course you can see the ones that are severely damaged. You don't want those. Right, again on the side so what you're looking for is maybe a tread that you like which this one is really a cool tread I've never seen this one before um, you want to look inside make sure that it hasn't been repaired because there's a green goop in there if it's been repaired you want to kind of know the project that you're thinking about unless you do like I do and just make a bunch of different stuff and when you see one that draws your attention then you just go for that one um, uh, because you know you're gonna be able to do something with it but again you want to look at the treads the size of course these ones here are way too big for anything that I want to use um, this one here I don't want anything with the hub cap in it of course that's not um, something I want to deal with so Again, I don't see any, it's funny with these, these are what I call nubbins, guys. And anytime you do a tire project, you're gonna have to remove all of these little um, nubbins. So some tires have them all along the side also. You're gonna wanna take all of those off because when you paint it or you put the application on it, these turn to like little needles. So those will need to be removed. So keep that in mind when you're looking for a tire. Um, Two, you could want to make a, a set, like a chair set. Look at the, I mean, look at the treads on that tire, how how fun it is. And the inside of them look really awesome. What about this one? <laughs> that one's huge. Again, that design on that tread is amazing. So, um, and you want to think about what you're making. Again, like I said, um, whether it be a tire swing to hang outside or um, an ottoman or a footstool or a PlayStation. These ones back here are all bigger, it looks like. Um, look at this tread here. <laughs> I'm seeing so many treads that I like. Um, so these aren't ones that I would be picking out today, but they definitely would be great for like maybe some outside um, stuff. Some decent sized ottomans, I think, uh, could be made out of these. Um, the ones that I said that I really liked earlier, those could definitely be ottomans. But we're gonna head back over there because I wanna show you um, something else that I look for, just to make sure that they're, uh, people will always ask if they're flimsy. And, and these here actually are flimsy. So those would need additional support. So that's definitely something you'd wanna consider before picking those up. So even though I like the treads on those, I don't know if I would grab them because then you'd have to add supports inside of them. So there's some things that you need to think about. Okay, so I'm here in my home shop where I have some other tires stored that I've already picked out from various places. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at those, what I found, and I'll let you know why I chose those. So let's go ahead and go on into my shop at home. Okay, so you see here that I have a stack of tires. These are all pretty small. I really like the treads on them. Um, we did pick one. Here's, here's this example. 
of the goop, guys. So you can see this green stuff that they put inside a tire to repair it. So I will not be using this tire. So um, over here, I've got some really great uh, tractor tires. These, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I know that they're, I, I love the tractor tires and I've got a narrow tractor tire over there. That would be a great mirror. Um, and then just some smaller, these are golf cart tires. Again, I like the treads on them. Um, these are all great for small ottomans. And then over here are some, let me get down here, are some motorcycle tires. I love motorcycle tires. Um, for some reason, uh, the uh, paint seems to go on them very well and stick to them very well and it gives a really nice finish. So, so these are some, so once I'm done with the ones up in my shop, I'll start my next projects with these tractors that I chose. Um, and like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with them, but I know that I have them here and ideas will come to me. So I've got a few more outside, so let's go ahead and venture outside. Lots of motorcycle tires. I don't know if there's Bridgestone Dunlap. Um, look at the tread on this one, guys. How fun is that? And it's got, it almost looks like a flower pattern. This would be a really great girl's mirror. Um, and then these here treads, they look to me, they look um, like a steampunk design over there. Uh, that one is great. That looks like a, a leopard print. Um, so again, I've just got these stacked up outside, just waiting for me to be ready for them. Um, no problem in storing them outside. So some of them actually look really new that like, the, for example, the tread on this one, look how, how good this one is. Um, that would make a great, great ottoman. And I can tell by the tire how sturdy it is. So, so there you have it. I have my supply here for a little while and I have no doubt that you can find as many tires as you need to start your upcycling projects. So let's do a quick review. You're going to go and search for your first tire to upcycle. You're going to want to take along a tape measure and a pair of gloves. You want to know the approximate size that you want to get so you have the tape measure and the gloves. Of course, you're dealing with old tires, so you want to protect your hands. A few things to look for when you're searching for that tire. You're going to look for the cracks. If there's cracks in it, the paint won't adhere. You're also going to take a look at the inside. If the inside has that green goop, it's a chemical that you just really don't want to mess with. So I wouldn't choose that tire. You're also going to want to look for the sturdiness. The sturdiness of the tire, if it's not that sturdy, you're gonna to have to actually add supports in there. So it's going to be extra work. So if it's, especially if it's your first project, you might wanna choose a more sturdy tire. And then you wanna look for what I call nubbins. Um, they're actually needle-like all around the tire and some tires are completely covered with them. But once you paint them or put an app or application on them, they actually turn to needles. Um, they're really sharp. So you're going to want to cut all of those off. So if you get a tire with those all over it, just keep in mind that's going to be a lot of work. And lastly, but my favorite part is you're going to want to look at the tread design. The tread design can inspire you to do all different kinds of things. Um, and you don't even know it until you see it. So that's the fun part of um, searching for an upcycle tire. So these are my tips and tricks. I hope they help you. I know I wish I would have known them when I first started upcycling tires. It would have saved me a lot of time and a lot of energy, and I hope it does the same for you. So if you like the content of this video, you know what to do. And until next time, happy upcycling.